Ooh, there's a hidden star? Welcome back to the Arch Place. How the fuck am I supposed to find the hidden star? Uh, good luck with that. Well, welcome to, uh, vampire... Not a vampire, because I'm not a vampire. Oh my god, you could do a great vlog channel. You could call it Not a Vampire Diaries. <gasps> Have you ever actually seen that show? No. It's on Netflix. Okay. We could watch it if you I, I was really want to. I was going to say, no, it's on the CW. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. All right, I'm going to take a little aside here and just say, fuck the entire CW and everything on it. Really? Yeah. Why? Like, okay, so originally I was watching Arrow because while it is shit, um, it was like the closest we were ever going to get to a Dark Knight, the TV series. And... What what are you Okay. That's how I went before, so I'm seeing if there's some over here. Uh and I was just like accepting there's that not. that's the best we could do. But it's not the best we can do because a couple of years later we got Daredevil. And that's the Dark Knight the series. Oh fuck me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um do you pay any attention to the shows that they put on the CW? They are all the same. They're the same show. Like, regardless of what's happening, it's always, like, attractive 20-somethings, and they, like, lie to each other about relationships. That's the entire show, every time. Even The Flash, which is, like, the happiest, most uplifting show that they have, and it's, like, colorful, and things happen that are not relationship bullshit, but it's primarily relationship bullshit, because it's the only thing that we ever get. I the didn't... only thing that was any good about that, about the show, The Flash, at the end of the day, was the really interesting relationship between Barry and, um, uh, Orson... Motherfucker! Not Orson Welles, uh, Harrison Welles. Orson Welles is that guy that died. I mean... A long time ago. Yeah. Or actually, I don't know. Well, yes. Or Orson Welles, he was the guy... 19, 1984. Was like 80, yeah, it was in, in the 80s. No! Orson Welles wrote yeah. 1984. Oh, but no. he also died? Orson Welles did, oh, did, did not write 1984. Who am I that thinking? Was that George Orwell. George Orwell, yeah. The same Orson difference. Wells, same difference. Orson Welles was the guy who did um, War of the Worlds. Same difference. Uh, he had a great voice, and he voiced Unicron, the anti-god, the eater of planets. <gasps> oh! Oh! No! Now I know! Yeah, it was It was this. Yeah. And I know things now that I... Didn't once know. Didn't know before. Uh, I don't know. Didn't once know? I, I thought it was didn't no, once no, know. No, 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 no. And I know things now... Many valuable things that I hadn't known before. Never put your faith in a cape and a hood. They will not protect you the way that they should. And take extra care with strangers. Even flowers have their dangers. And though scary is exciting, nice is different than good. Now I know, don't be scared. Granny is right, just be prepared. Isn't it nice to know a lot? And a little bit not. That's it. I can't believe you, you let said, me go on. When you said don't put your trust in... D don't... Do not put your faith in cape and a hood. Don't put your faith in, in a cape and a hood. I was gonna say, don't put your dick in crazy. <laughs> also, related, but separate, don't put your dick in science. <laughs> yeah. If it's made of science, don't put your dick in it. It will kill you. Yeah. See the movie Splice. Don't put your dick in science, or science will put its dick in you. That's a much less pleasant experience. Very much so. Because its dick is made of lasers. Laser dick. I don't Laser have dick. enough. I don't have enough. Laser disc. <laughs> <laughs> you took it and you spun it into something <laughs> innocuous. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's That is fantastic. That is tanfastic. There was a there was a tanning salon place near where I used to live called Tanfastic. That's wonderful. Uh, it, was, it was lame. Oh. Oh. It, was, it was run by incompetent people. Oh. And I hated them. Never mind them. All right, I'm a Rob. Okay, but uh, uh, you were talking about CW, and then I started singing, and yeah, you let I was me go. On the CW. You let me go much longer than I thought you would. 
Well, I wanted to hear the whole thing because you have a really pretty voice. Well, thank you. But yeah, you were. Thank you. So here's fun fact for uh. A fun fact. Yeah. Here's a fun fact. John Goodman, a fun fact. Here's a fun fact for uh, Degrassi fans. So remember when uh, Darcy left uh, to supposedly go do uh, missionary work in Can- uh, no, Kenya? And uh, when uh, Mia left uh, to supposedly do modeling in uh, uh, France? Well, apparently uh, they did that. Nude so then. Modeling? No, just modeling. They, they left us uh, so then uh, they can uh, uh, be, be uh, on. Uh, I think it was Vampire Diaries on the CW. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Oh, just fun fact for Degrassi fans. Right. So I was going to talk this episode, and this episode is like, oh, okay, it's only like a quarter in. All right. We finally get to my relationship to um, My Chemical Romance, which we were talking about on, oh, the, yeah. on the previous episode. So... In my circles, My I... Chemical Romance was the music of not edgy teenagers, but edgy tweens who thought they were hardcore Fuck the... and didn't know what hard music actually was. Because while, while they were listening to My Chemical Romance, which was so soft compared to what I was listening to at the time, I was listening to like 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 speed metal and... And things like Dimu Borgir and like Duran Gray. I still don't know what any Duran Gray song is actually about. Come on, come on, spin, 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 damn you! Damn it. That was the chair, right? Yeah, that was the chair, because you just shifted your way back again. Yeah. So I thought you, like, ripped a massive fart. <laughs> no. No, it was the chair. It was uh, the cord hitting the chair. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Okay, but uh, okay. you're talking about Duran Gray. Duran Gray, yeah, great, great band. Uh, but but My Chemical Romance, my perception of it at the time was that it was uh, Babby's first hard rock. <laughs> okay, so what's your uh, perception now? Um, it's all right. It's it's well, their instrumentation is better than I than I thought it was. But um, to be fair, you really haven't gotten uh, too yeah, far into them. I haven't like dug into their lyrics or anything, and I'm probably not gonna. Oh, so you don't want to do that thing where I show you all about them? Oh yeah, go at like actually, you know what? Make a video about it. What do you mean? I mean, like that's my primary means of engaging with things is I watch uh, people who make videos about things. Oh, but I'm not good at talking about like like, I, like these... I make so many videos. Uh, not make. Uh, I don't make any videos anymore. I, I, I'm not... uh, I, uh, I watch a lot of videos. I'm not good at really critiquing music. To really. Neither is anyone else. You have no competition. Yeah, yeah, people are. Um, the rap critic? Todd in the Shadows? They don't do the same kind of, like, thing that... They don't do what Digi does for, Digi is for music. The, Digi is the guy that I'm thinking of. Yeah, but his style is very like my personal feelings on this thing. Like, like listen to his him talk about mindless self indulgence or uh, uh, that other band that was great. And then Digi says they turned to shit, and I'll just take her word for Coheed it. Coheed and uh, Cambria. Coheed and Cambria. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, oh, we just made a bunch of mortal enemies right there <laughs> by, by shitting on Coheed. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not. I, I'm not. Okay. Disclaimer, I'm not shitting on them because I don't really know anything about them. I listened to one song and I thought, huh, yeah, they seem cool. Yeah, Maybe Digi is way them. pickier than me anyway. Um, like, I, I like more stuff than... Ah, okay, that's not true. Uh, I like diff- different stuff than Digi does because his music tastes are pretty specific to him. Okay, I think at this point I need to go back. Um, Wait, hold on. What's not that reset, thing? you want What's the thing? How do I do that? Plus. Or minus. Or minus. Okay, yeah, um... Return to Observatory. Oh. Herder. Fucking read? Uh, no. I read back. <laughs> so, I read back and I thought, oh, that's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have some problems. Okay, but... Um, maybe I'll make a video. I don't know if I will, because really, if I do end up, if I do end up making a video about my chemical romance, it will be a very much, in my opinion, non very, not analytical, because I like singing, and I love 
voices and I love musicals, but I don't know technical things about musicals or uh, technical things about music. I suppose what, what, in my, what my high school self's real objection to My Chemical Romance was not anything like... Motherfucker! <laughs> uh, you suck. Was not anything like... Uh, was not anything like, this isn't hard or this isn't good. It was, this isn't dark. I didn't... I'm, it was billed to me as something that was super dark, yo. It was it was just so dark like my soul and it just didn't sound like it. Like is that your perception of my chemical romance? Are they dark? Um They do talk about some dark things. Uh like, it, it really depends on um uh which albums are you listening to, really? Like uh, like, the first two albums are considerably, considerably much darker, but then, um, when you get into, like, the third album, there's still, um, some, like, uh, dark emotions, but, um, the sound is much more polished, so it can be a little hard to tell that. Okay, come on, where, where can I find fucking star bits to get that star? Maybe you have to get star bits out of the enemies that you were stomping. That's what I was trying to do, but then they were killing me. I did that on purpose, just so you guys know, so I can, you know. Because it's easier than backing out or like getting up onto the, up onto that platform by Z jumping and then wall jumping and then spin jumping. Oh yeah, that's what I could do. <laughs> or you could just Z jump onto the train. Yeah, I didn't think to do that. I thought, okay, I guess I'm gonna, okay. We got lives to burn, whatever. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, it depends on uh, when you're listening to them. You can't really tell that they're dark, I guess, uh, when you listen to their later albums, like Danger Days. Yeah, because here, here, for context, this is what this is what I listened to before they got popular. Uh, my first exposure to to metal in, in, a, in a place where in a context where I had the song and could, like, listen to it was my mother's copy of um, uh, not Appetite for, the, for Destruction, um, Use Your Illusion, the, uh, the album by the fucking Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. Oh, and then, the, like, two days later, I encountered Metallica. And I just listened to all of the Metallica. And... While I think they're a bunch of douchebags in in real life, they're really good artists. I they sound different in every in every song, not every song in every album. They sound different in every album, and it evolves over time. And it's always cool. Like, give give me give me some some notes of darkness from or or from uh, My Chemical Romance. Describe not the songs, but what the songs are about. Tell tell me about those. Hmm, let me th yeah, think about this. And also try to figure out where I can get some tasty star bits. Um... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, listening to, to Brando uh, like complain about people who are shit at Overwatch <laughs> is so entertaining. Uh, oh, I just need a little bit more. Okay. Just a little bit. Um... Hmm. So you're asking me to do something that I'm not really good at doing on the fly. Like coming up with interpretations of lyrics of music you haven't uh, listened to in well, a long time? <laughs> dying? You seem to be pretty good at dying. Here, here, give me that. No, 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 no. I got this. You clearly don't, but okay. I got this. No, it's not that. Um, <gasps> I have a plan. What's your plan? Hold on. Okay, so... So what what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a shit ton of star bits and then we're gonna die, and then we'll have more. We'll be able to get more star bits. <laughs> oh yes, that's a great plan actually. Oh yes, this is that, gonna be that great. Really is, wow, that's kind of insidious that they would put a level in where you have to die. I don't know if you have. You get more than twenty five. No, I, I I need just fifty. Oh, okay. 
Well, then whatever. But I don't know if you ha technically have to do this. Oh, you saw Mario's skeleton. Hold on, you saw, you saw his skeleton. That, 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 does he have a bone in his hat? I bet he has a bone in his hat. I, I bet know. he has a boner in his hat. Mario has a boner in his hat. Okay, but, um, hmm, my chemical romance, uh, darkness. My chemical um, romance. Uh, 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 there, you look in the mirror and don't like what you see, then find out something what's like to be me. Um, ah. that sounds very much like, oh, it's so hard to be an artist. Um, well, not necessarily. You can take it a different way, like, yeah, um... Yeah, but it sounds like it. No, not really. It sounds more like... It, it's like the problem of, uh, random, uh, spawn... Like, random generation at spawning. You, you, you spawn with this certain build, and it's not you. You don't like it, but you can't change it. So it's dysphoria. It's a trans-sympathetic... Actually, it's a trans sympathetic orchestra. A actually, trans Siberian orchestra. Actually, uh, there's also mul there's multiple ways you can actually take it too. Okay. Like, uh, is that is that your, gonna be your answer? Is that gonna be like darkness and uh, my chemical romance? No, because I feel like there's more, and I I I, I would need time to think about this okay, to find. So here's what I was comparing it to, and you'll 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 take my meaning. Uh, Talika has a song about a guy who stepped on a landmine and he has no arms and legs and he cannot see and he cannot hear because he was deafened in the explosion. That is, he, like, he's locked in, he can make noises and he can kind of wriggle a bit, but his life is over and he's a, he's basically a kid. And that's, that's the, that's the rest of his life. And it's a song from the perspective of that guy. It's called One. Motherfucker, I jumped over there. They have another song about this guy who... Like, has this frown cut into his face. Like, like this scar. Like a Glasgow smile, but a frown. And he gets, like, shit for it on a daily basis. And eventually he loses it and he guns down the entire town. Hmm. And they have another song about some guys going to going to the gallows ab about to like be electrocuted. They're about to die by the electric chair. You missed some. Oh, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, back there. I didn't know that there was some. Left. Yeah, I know. That, there you go. Ah, pro strat. <laughs> um, the song is called Ride the Lightning. There's another one about um, about the feeling that just the sheer feeling of hopelessness in the moment before suicide. I see you're um you're asking me a question that would do better if I have like the lyrics in front of them and can comb through it, cause like. I have this thing where I, I don't listen to depressing music because I don't like feeling sad. And I'm a very empathetic person. And then if I listen to this, I'm going to be sad. Like, really, really sad. And tur just turn into edge lord depressed. So you wouldn't like Harvester of Sorrows. You wouldn't like Leper Messiah. You wouldn't like Disposable Heroes. Probably not. Okay, what are you missing? Hold on. I, I don't know yet. Um, Disposable Heroes is about how the war machine sells you on glory and then chews you up and spits you out. They were very anti-war. Um, Leper Messiah is about the Antichrist. Just straight up about the oh, Antichrist. Oh, fuck. Oh, I almost died. Um, hmm. I don't... Hmm. Sanitarium is a song about somebody who is being abused in a mental health facility. 
I don't, I don't know. See, this some that I need uh, the lyrics in front of me for. Yeah, because as I said, you know, not only uh, do I not like listening to depressing music uh, because I'm an empathetic person. I think people who listen to depressing music are, are just sad and wanting to be sad. They're asking for it. What I'm saying is that they're asking for it. <laughs> no! There, there's a button down there. Go down. Oh, there it is. That's not what I'm saying, but if I'm listening to it, I'm either already sad or I need to be sad. And that latter part never comes up. Okay. Um, so... And also, not not only that, I've just not listened to them in quite a long time because I'm not listen. I haven't been listening to other music besides musical stuff. Yeah, I can tell that you don't really gravitate towards depressing stuff when you listen to the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Well, how do I explain this? Um. Uh, oh, there is another one. I, I have shit taste for babies. <laughs> no, it's, um... <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't actually think that. Um, let me see. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> oh, damn! Ooh. <laughs> okay, but, um... Hmm. <laughs> I guess, um... <laughs> French laugh. I guess, it, it, it's a little bit different with, uh, like, musicals. Because then I can also... Uh, there's... <laughs> it's a little bit different with musicals because... Hold on, I'm pissed. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit different with musicals because musicals, okay. uh, you don't... Other one? Okay. In musicals, you don't write yourself into the story. But then I f with uh, stuff like My Chemical Romance, it feels very much like this like s songs like that it's it kind of hits it hits very close to home like like yeah i've had times where i don't like that i am being not physical looking but who i am or like i feel like i uh, all these depressing stuff that i kind of don't want to talk about right now okay but it feels more like I can write myself into, or I can... It feels... I don't know how to explain this, actually, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I don't get depressed with something like Hunchback. Although, I've got to say, uh, in uh, the Hunchback musical, the song Someday... My god. Someday never comes? No, no. It's it's uh, right before... Come on, Eileen. Oh, look. Fast foe comet. Come on, Eileen. Um, ba, da, 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 episode's about to end, right? Ba, da, da, da. Is the episode? Yeah, yeah, okay, finish so, finish, so, so, yeah. Give me that and finish your thought. Well, no, before we uh, start that. Um, to we, finish... we gotta give him something to look okay, at. Okay, fine, fine. But before uh, we go, to finish my thought, um, Someday, it's a song uh, like that uh, Phoebus and Esmeralda sings. Sing... Phoebus? Phoebus. 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 <laughs> it's a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, damn. Phoebus. But they, it's a song that they sing uh, right before uh, Esmeralda is uh, put to death on false charges, and um, and they're they're singing about some day, um, e like even though I'm going to die now, someday maybe the world will be better, like sometime in the distant future. Someday the world will deserve you. Well, not just that, but just like someday this sort of thing might. Like, this sort of thing wouldn't happen anymore because people will be better, will be smarter or something. Like, there wouldn't be a system that would allow this to happen. I, I don't know. People suck. I know! That's part of it! Like, part of it is... Oh, that is such a sad thing. Like, it, it's kind of hopeful and charming, like, endearing that you're thinking that, but that, people suck! That might be the most emo thing I've ever heard because what you just said is... That's so sad because hope is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told I told you I'm not done with my emo face, and not just because I'm always dressed in black. Like I'm literally I'm in black. 
literally like black is like my most worn color. It matches my soul. Black. It it matches my soul. It's the only thing that understands me. It, it's like okay, it's like a rose. <laughs> Cause everything emo has to do with roses. Cause ro roses ro made of razor blades. Yeah, roses are the most emo thing ever. Ooh. Man. So so yeah, that's uh um I don't and you know it, maybe it I can't say that um you can't uh empathize with uh musicals and stuff because I do empathize with uh characters in musicals. So actually I don't know why I guess I don't know why I can listen to like something like Into the Woods or the endings of uh, Hunchback and Notre Dame, but not like things like My Chemical Romance. Maybe, well, or no, not My Chemical Romance, but more like uh, certain the, songs the really uh, by downer songs by, yeah. by a lot of yeah, like like people who talk about actually depressing shit. Like yeah, uh, well, I like, don't know, Angels and Airwaves. Well, like uh, things like uh, Three Days Grace or. Three Days Grace is a great one. I actually, yeah. I really liked them in high school. It, Man, I'm an edge lord. It, it really sucks because I like them too. I like Lincoln Park. There's a lot of bands that I like, but I can't listen to them because it puts me in a state that just kind of wrecks me. You know what you should listen to then? It's Duran Gray because they're really awesome and I have no idea what they're saying because okay. it's Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. Wow, I beat that entire level while you were finishing your thought. Yeah. Uh, next time on tap? I, I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think, I think I'm, I'm turning, turning Japanese. Japanese. I really think so. So, my waifu. Now give me your soda. My waifu.